<laughs> Where am I? Hello and welcome back to Granted Gardens. We're filming, I think, a few different videos today. But the reality is, is that uh, the frost is coming and it's time to address all of the things that we've been procrastinating about. Oh, so today we are cutting out the loofahs. Okay, so for those of you that may not be familiar with what a loofah is, um, a loofah is a gourd that grows on a vine. Um, it starts out fairly small and timid, um, but then tends to like take off. It takes a ton of space, okay? Almost like a green bean. It looks like a little baby green bean and then it ends up looking like this. Yeah. Squishy. Definitely got some moisture in there still. This is a fresh one. As you can kind of see, you can push in a little bit, not too hard anymore, but you don't want to let it sit on the vine too long when it gets cold, because they'll rot on the inside. Alternatively, you get them like this. Not the best one, because you can't hear, but it's crunchy, still soft, but And you can hear the loose dry. seeds. The seeds dry out and they fall to the bottom. When you shake them, you can hear them. Mm -hmm. So this is what you're going for. This is best case scenario. It dries out on the vine. It's ready to go. Um, you can pick it and then you can peel it. And on the inside has this like spongy like texture. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of different things that you can use them for. Um, one thing that I'm really excited about is using them in our soaps. Um, but you also can use them to clean dishes. You can use them in the shower to scrub down. Um, so there's lots of different uses for this. So we've got some that look like this, but the majority of them look like that. Uh, but with the frost coming up, we learned last year that you don't want them to go through a frost or definitely not go through a freeze because then instead of drying, they just tend to get mushy and rotty. So we're going to go around and pick today. Might have done this just in time. It looks like there's a storm coming. Check out this harvest. Not bad. All right, so we got all of that off of six plants. And the six plants that we planted were along the fence line um, to the garden. So that was something new that we did this year, trying to take advantage of that space and grow up. Uh, so vertical gardening was a win. Um, we did actually have it take over this cattle panel arch as well. But believe it or not, not a single loofah plant was actually planted on this cattle panel arch. Uh, it just kind of came along the fence line here and found the arch and grew up it. So. Um, quite a great harvest. Definitely better than we were last year. Last year I think we picked like four loofahs. Um, so what our game plan is now is I'm going to show you guys what it's like to open up a loofah so you know what that looks like and what's inside. hope you guys can hear me with this wind. Um, and then for the rest of them they need to dry out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ones that aren't dry yet and we're going to put them in the greenhouse and we're going to put them on a graded shelf and the idea there is that that shelf has is made out of grate so that there's decent airflow that goes both on top and underneath you need to make sure that you have good airflow otherwise if you pack them in together and there isn't decent airflow they're going to rot um, also you, again you want to make sure it doesn't get too hot or too cold we're going to try this greenhouse concept this again is our first time ever having this large of a harvest so fingers crossed. This is a fresh loofah that I cut open. This one was a little on the mushier side. Um, you can see it's got some bruising on the inside. Can you see that? See the like kind of like a banana, the like kind of liquidy almost looking part? Bruised, probably not the best for drying. So this is what it looks like on the inside when it's raw, fresh, kind of mushy. You can't really tell that fibrous inside, but once all of the uh, meat of this dries out, that's when you get like the spiral sponge kind of look to it. Final count, 43 loofahs. 43 loofahs, minus one for the chickens. To eat it from my hand, that's the rule. <laughs> All right, so here we are in the greenhouse. We've got our loofahs set up on this rack. 
but we had far more loofahs than we did racks so Tyler actually came up with a pretty cool idea and we're using seed starters trays flipped over um, to set the loofahs on so you can see here they'll still get pretty good airflow and then the super dry ones we're gonna take in with us we have harvested all of our loofahs. Um, we've got the ones that are still green out in the greenhouse to try and help them dry out a bit. However, um, once the temperature drops down into like freezing, we're not so sure that we're going to be able to leave them out there. So I'm going to have to come up with a new solution for that and I'm probably going to be working on that today. But I just wanted to show you guys um, what this, this is what a loofah looks like that is fully dried. Um, it, this one dried on the vine. You can shake it and you can hear seeds in there. They're pretty loose. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what the inside of the loofah looks like. Now we do have a video, I think from last year, um, on opening loofahs, but we literally only had like one that turned out. So hopefully, I feel confident that the majority of these ones that we have that are dry um, are gonna be perfect. So I've got three here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this one for you guys right now. Um, so I don't know that there's really like a special technique. I have a knife here. I'm going to just cut down the center. Um, but you probably, probably could just crack and peel from the top. Maybe we'll start cracking peeling from the top. It is a little messy. So you, uh, make sure that you have a nice space set up that you don't mind cleaning afterwards. Right now, the only space that we have is the kitchen table because it's literally the only space that we have. And I'm here with like bunch of stuff <laughs> but you know you do what you can with what you got right our counters are covered Tyler's making dinner tonight so he's got that in the crock pot all right so you can see as I'm peeling this off this is what the inside of our loofah looks like this right here is the part that we're trying to get to so I'm gonna keep peeling Peeling really nicely actually this one is perfect um, another thing that we're looking for is this white color okay um, or the cream color I guess we should say um, a lot of times if your loofahs have like bad spots or if they started to rot or mold um, this is gonna be black and that's how you know that they're not they're not good this one is turning out beautiful All right, so here at the bottom, look at all those seeds. <laughs> look at all those seeds. They're still in there. Holy mackerel, oh my word, they're going all over the place. Very cool. So the perks about loofahs is that one loofah has like probably easily hundreds of seeds in it. So I got this from just this one loofah. There's a big old pile of them here. Here's what the base looks like. I'm gonna try and do the sauce spelling. Look at all those seeds in there. Isn't that cool? So we've got plenty, plenty of seeds just right here out of this one loofah plant. Very cool. We've got tons and there's still some more in here. So you can kind of squeeze to try and get them to fall out, shake a little bit. Um, now, my goals for my loofahs this year were initially for soap. I want to get creative with making my soaps this winter, and I want to incorporate loofah in some of them um, as kind of like inserting the loofah into like the soaps, and then once they harden, you kind of get like an exfoliator and a clean at the same time, like soap and exfoliator. So I thought that would be really fun. That was my number one goal. However, we have like a ton of loofahs and over the last year, I've been dabbling in like living a more greener lifestyle, uh, reduced waste kind of concept. And one thing that I loved was the idea that people will cut these up and they'll use them for sponges. I'm gonna see if I can cut through it with this knife. Not very easily. This is also a very dull knife, believe it or not. We need to upgrade our knives. All 
right, so we've got this little sponge here and like people will use it to clean their dishes. And then what's nice about this is once it gets gunky, obviously you could, I could have cut it bigger. Um, once it gets gunky and it's time to toss it, you can literally just throw it in your compost pile because it will 100% break down. So it is a great alternative for cleaning things um, and you know helping to reduce your waste. So I thought that was really special. If anyone has any other ideas of what they do with their loofahs, please please share with me. I want to know because we're going to have so many. Um, so I've still got two more to go here and then we've got tons out in the greenhouse still. So I'm really excited. Loofahs were a win for us this year, absolutely. And I loved the idea of the fact that we grew them along the fence line. Um, I think that was a great use of space. We got a ton out of it and it didn't it didn't interrupt like our, our usual garden plan. Like we still had plenty of sp space to plant everything else that we wanted. Um, so this is very neat. It's very spongy. Okay. So you can see it's like a sponge. Um, most people think that this comes from the ocean somehow. It doesn't. It is a plant that you can grow. And what else is fun about loofah? Um, I've never tried this, but what is, what else is fun about loofah is that they're also edible. Um, like I said, I've never done it. <laughs> I don't know any recipes for it or anything. Um, I would probably try it maybe once, um, but they are edible. You can eat them when they're in a younger phase. Okay, so once you get to this point, they're, you don't wanna eat them. Um, but when they're much younger, smaller, um, they're not quite as uh, fibrous and you can eat them, I guess, kind of like a squash, like a zucchini is what I was thinking. I guess you can eat them kind of like a zucchini. I don't know. Um, can be done. <laughs> I haven't done it, but I'll keep you posted. I don't know, maybe next year. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we look forward to sharing more with you soon. Dogs.